it is a done deal. Ogio Marakwet Senator Kipchumba Murkomen has been axed from the position of the Senate Majority Leader. Murkomen and his Nakuru counterpart, Susan Kihika, were formally stripped of their positions after Senate Speaker endorsed those changes. And as Samogina reports, the cracking of the whip by President Uru Kenyatta sparked outrage from Deputy President William Ruto's allies who've launched scathing attacks against Jubilee Party and, uh, of course, President Uru Kenyatta claiming that he masterminded the ouster. The West Pokot Senator Samuel Pogesio took the majority position in the Senate, a culmination of a bitter row within the ruling Jubilee Party. President Uhuru Kenyatta successfully elbowing out his number two lieutenants. After a night of intense lobbying from both camps, the president was having his way. I'm satisfied with the changes that the changes were made in accordance with standing Senate Standing Order 19, 1, 2, 3, 40, 5, and 7, and meets the threshold required under Standing Order 19. Five, they are having been a majority vote. This immediately is sparking outrage from DP Ruto's foot soldiers. A bitter Murkomen charging against the president, accusing him of masterminding the ouster instead of focusing on bigger issues of service delivery to the nation. If the greatest achievement of the president of Kenya is to demonstrate to the people of this country that I have removed my majority leader, I'm a big man. Mr. Speaker, the president is already a big man. I am just but a son of a squatter born and brought up in Embobut, to be a subject of his discussion uh, over and over again. I want to say, Mr. President, now therefore deliver for the people of Kenya. Murkomen is out of the way. If I was your stumbling block, deliver for the people of Kenya. The duo presented a list of 22 members whom they claimed were opposed to the status meeting that sanctioned their removal. But the decision from status was accompanied by a list of 20 senators who ratified the axing of Murkomen and Kihika. But in flexing of muscles, the list by Ruto allies had two senators not appending their signatures, this including Transnzoya Senator Michael Mbito and Deputy Speaker Kithure Kindiki. The same Mbito appeared in both lists alongside Wasingishu Senator Margaret Kamar. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell the President, stop lying to the Senate. You told us you will give us oversight fund. Bring the oversight ban to the Senate if Murkomen was that's, the stumbling block. I know there was a lot of coercion, there was a lot of intimidation. But I understand, like we were told earlier this morning, it is politics and that's just the way it is. Mr. Speaker, this is not your decision. You made this decision under duress and undue influence. No, and I'm oh, sorry oh, you had to do it. Order, order, Thank order, you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Equally, the ousted senators protested the inclusion of Kirinyaga Senator Charles Kibiru in the meeting that okayed their removal from office on account that he was an independent candidate. Initially, the Ruto Axis got reprieve when the political party's dispute resolution tribunal quashed the Kanu Jubilee post-election coalition deal, a deal that got the president's side an additional three senators to till the scales in his favor. Ni inashangaza sana na inashtua yeye mwenye kuketi na kupanga kuangamiza wale watu walio msaidia. Supporting government does not mean keeping quiet when something is not going well. We shall say the truth, but in a respectful way, in a humble way, and Mr. Speaker, in a way that is forthright. While DP Ruto allies were crying foul, a section of the opposition was watching the decimation of his foot soldiers from the sidelines. The incoming team pledging to mend fences where possible, but ultimately carry on with the government's agenda. I do, I do understand uh, what's happening sometimes, and so I want to encourage my friends, my predecessor and, and the team uh, to, to, to take heart and, and please, uh, let's get back together. We can always learn a thing or two from each other. Insiders now claim the president's next focus is cleaning the parliamentary committees and replace renegade MPs and senators with loyalists as the president and his deputies' relationship goes bust. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.